Zimbabwe's closely watched elections began with Monday's peaceful vote but turned deadly 48 hours later when the military fired on protesters and six people were killed. Friday morning three truckloads of police, with shields and batons, tried to disperse about 100 local and international press gathered to hear Chamisa. With cameras recording their every move, the police eventually pulled back, allowing Chamisa to give a blistering denunciation of Nangagwe's win. We won this election, asserted Chamisa, who said that rigging gave Nangagwe victory. He declared, a day of mourning for democracy. Chamisa, who received over 44% of the vote, alleged violence and harassment against his supporters and manipulation of the election results. He said his opposition party has evidence of vote rigging but that the Electoral Commission didn't want to listen to us. The military were not visible on Harare's streets on Friday. Water cannons and police remained present, however, at the headquarters of the main opposition party, a day after authorities raided it and made 18 arrests. Nangagwe, Mugabe's former enforcer and confidant, said he was humbled by the victory and in a Twitter post urged Zimbabweans to stay peaceful. The opposition said it will challenge in court the results of the election, which Nangagwe won with just over 50% of the vote. Opposition leader Nelson Chamisa, who received more than 44% of the vote, said on Twitter that unverified fake results had been announced by the Electoral Commission. The commission must release proper and verified results endorsed by parties, he tweeted. The level of opaqueness, truth deficiency, moral decay and values deficit is baffling. In a brief moment of drama shortly before the commission announced the winner in Friday's early hours, Two agents for Chamisa's Movement for Democratic Change Party took the stage and told waiting journalists that they totally reject the results and said they had not signed them as required, in protest. Police escorted them from the room. The week's events left many Zimbabweans with a sense of unease and questions about how different Nangagwe is from his predecessor Mugabe who stepped down in November under military pressure amid a ruling party feud after 37 years in power. The 75-year-old Nangagwe has tried to recast himself as a voice of change, declaring that the once prosperous Zimbabwe is open for business and inviting the Western election observers who for years had been banned by Mugabe. So far international observers have issued mixed reviews, calling Monday's election peaceful and a break from the past but expressing grave concern about the military's excessive use of force. They criticized the delay in releasing the results of the presidential vote, saying it raised concerns about possible manipulation. Some, however, were content to move on and deal with the new leader. Yeah, I think he's the right man. Because he has been there for quite some time and he knows where the weaknesses are, said a 29-year-old clerk who gave his name only as Eddie. He has the experience from previous government so he knows how to maneuver all the problems we have. I just hope he will do well.